Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'll break down the changes coming to Twilight Armor and show you how to maximize its potential in your games. Discover which heroes will be impacted the most and how they will affect your game style. First, let's look at the stats. The current version needs you to take 800 damage before it activates. But the new version, it's down to just 500. This means you can trigger its damage reduction way more often, even in the mid-game where taking 500 damage is pretty common. On official server, you're basically forced to wait until the late game because that's when most damage are above 800 points. Next up, we've got changes to the damage reduction scaling. Now there's a flat 20% damage reduction as soon as you buy the item. This is huge because it means you don't need to be a beefy tank with tons of HP to benefit from it. Even squishy heroes can now consider this item because the 20% base damage reduction is a big help. The current version requires you to stack HP like crazy to see significant damage reduction which limited its appeal. To balance the new feature, they had to lower the HP scaling from 0.4 to now 0.2 max HP. Moving on, let's compare how Twilight Armor affects damage. First, here's Leslie's damage on a hero without Twilight Armor. Now let's see how the two versions of Twilight Armor impact that damage. As you can see, there's now a big difference on a hero with limited HP stats. On the current version, you can barely feel the effect. And remember, Twilight Armor can also reduce magic damage. Here is Eudora's skill 1 against Leila. And here they are when using Twilight Armor. Here's a full stack Aldous and his damage comparisons. I think the role that will benefit the most are tanks. The damage reduction and easier activation are incredibly valuable. Combining it with passives like anti keras and Athena Shield makes them even tankier. anti keras directly reduces the enemy's physical damage while Athena reduces magic damage taken. It's a great way to reduce the effect of high penetration items like Divine Dave and Malefic Roar. Imagine Teresla stacking his passive, Queen's Wings, and Twilight Armor. That's 3 layers of damage reduction. High HP tanks like Hylos and Belric also benefit greatly as their higher HP translates to even more damage reduction. However, you should remember that Twilight Armor only works on damage instances of 500 or more. Alpha, for example, deals multiple small hits that won't trigger the armor's effect. This means Twilight Armor is not effective when fighting Alpha. Another one is Hulker. As you can see, the damage on both versions are the same because Twilight Armor was not activated. Oh, that on the other hand is a different story. The new Twilight Armor fits perfectly against her damage even in the mid game. We might even survive Fanny's attacks once this change is implemented. It will work against critical damage heroes, but only after they've built enough items to deal more than 500 damage per hit. I wonder if this item could bring back the tanky jungler meta. Remember, Twilight Armor's damage reduction is always active. This could be a very effective way to mitigate the Lord's high damage. That's it for our Twilight Armor tests. Overall, these changes make Twilight Armor much more accessible and versatile for a wider range of heroes. Now we want to hear from you, especially our tank players. What are your thoughts on this item? If you're a roamer, would you consider using Twilight Armor? Let us know in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.